way, it's a very good morning for you, and in a way, it's not a very good morning at all. Well, look, I mean, I, you know, the thought that uh, if we stood candidates in the south of England and southwest of England and allowed the Lib Dems to win lots of seats, which they would have done, uh, that would have taken us towards a second referendum. I think that would have been agony for the country, disastrous for trust in democracy. So I took a big strategic decision. I said we'd fight Labour. I said all the way through we'd dig chunks out of Labour that would actually make it easier for Boris Johnson, and indeed, that's what's happened. So, look, I, you know, as far as Boris Johnson's deal is concerned, I think it's dreadful, um, but at least we're going to get Brexit. I'd, you know, I'd call it half a loaf. But, Nigel, I mean, half a loaf maybe, but you hate the deal, you don't think it represents Brexit, your party's won zero seats. With the best will in the world, it's been a failure, hasn't it? No, not really. I mean, look, you know, if you go, go back to February, Piers, uh, Brexit was stuck in the weeds, a second referendum was coming down the tracks, hundreds of thousands of people marching in London, and, and most of us thought Brexit was finished, gone, it wasn't going to happen. I set the party up, we got rid of Mrs May, uh, we reset the agenda, and we are at least, at the end of January, going to get Brexit. I just hope and pray that Boris takes us towards a trade deal uh, and not a situation where we effectively become an associate member. But this morning's result is the best we could have hoped for. One of the things that you had argued uh, was that it was important for you to be represented so that you could hold the government's feet to the yeah. fire. You now don't have that power, do you? No, that's absolutely right, and nor do the ERG, interestingly, because with a majority of this size, you know, 25 or 30 committed Eurosceptics have also effectively lost their influence. So, I mean, the truth of it is uh, that Brexit will now be exactly what Boris Johnson wants it to be. Uh, I am absolutely certain that the vast majority of those 17.4 million want a genuinely clean break for the institutions. And we will have this debate, we will have this argument over the course of the next six months. But the big story, I think, is there will now not be a second referendum and we are going to leave. And that is, in historical terms, big progress. And the other big story is it's been an absolute triumph for Boris Johnson personally. Yes, it has. I mean, look, get Brexit done was a good, simple slogan. I met lots of people on the doorsteps who just said, look, three and a half years of this, it's agony. Uh, you know, whether it does get Brexit done, well, we'll, we'll find that out over the course of the coming weeks. Well, Are you winding... Is that the end of the Brexit party? And if so, what happens to you? I don't know the answer to that, uh, Piers, to be honest with you. I mean, I thought after the 2016 referendum, that was it, I was done with it. Um, I came back in because all appeared to be lost. Um, if they make a complete horlicks of it, I'll be back. Um, if not, I'll say, look, I did my best to try and shape, change the future direction of this country. Lord Farage or US I, Ambassador? I, or... I, I, I don't think anything like that's going to happen, Piers. You, are are you ruling that out? Washington, for example? Yeah, it, it's just not going to happen, OK? Why Simple not? As that. Because they, in, in a very odd psychological way, uh, the Tories have always rather resented me. Don't forget that the Tories have been a Remainer party. They didn't want the referendum. They never thought they'd lose it. Uh, it's, it's, it's cost them a couple of Prime Ministers, and, and over half the Cabinet are actually Remainers. So, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have that many friends in high places. Do you have any last thoughts for Hugh Grant and Steve Coogan and other celebrities, Lily Allen, the ones who were all yeah. trying to stop Brexit happening, who've yeah. woken up today to a rather bad morning? Yeah. Get back to acting, get back to singing. Oh, and do yourself a favour. Go outside the M25 and there you'll find people with very different views to you. I'm sure they'll be highly receptive uh, in a warm <laughs> way to your thoughts. <laughs> Nigel Farage, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.